WWE just finished up Crown Jewel, and it's time to take a look at some attires and arenas from the latest show. Let's get into it right now. First up, let's take a look at the Crown Jewel Arena. This custom arena and show that we're taking a look at is coming from the creator Soyel Ru. Ruben, my man, has done it again. Shout out to you, because this is great. This is a full-size stadium arena, ya big boy right here. You're looking for Soyel Ru number 50950. This is a complete Crown Jewel show for you. If you search under show, and then put in Crown Jewel. You'll find it in there under like the first page or you can search by the creator. There's a number of Crown Jewel arenas you can look for, but I always go for the ones from Ruben because he always does a great job all around. Now let's take a look at the attires going forward for the superstars that we have so far for Community Creations. I'm sure more will come out. We'll probably do a part two for Crown Jewel, but let's talk about the attires and some of the matchups that we had at Crown Jewel. And let me know in the comments your thoughts on the pay-per-view or the premium live event and how went for you. First up, we have Bailey. This attire, I really dug this. All of damage control supporting this gear. They all matched up really, really well. But here we have this one from Jay Jacker, number 98236. This one for Bailey. Love that we have the Bailey logo on the side. And I thought that this attire just worked really well. And the overall match itself, really, really fun. This felt like a big show, a big pay-per-view level matchup between Bailey and Bianca. I loved it. I love the go-karts. I loved all the shenanigans and I love the finish to it and how they did it for this last woman standing match. It was creative. There was a lot of stuff happening. They brought out all the toys. They made it a really fun match and I thought that this was going to be one of the challenges they had with this feud is that we've had this match a couple of times. So I was wondering how they were going to keep it fresh, but they definitely did. The other attire that we are looking at obviously is going to be that of Bianca Belair. And this attire is also coming from Jay Jacker, number 98236. And this one, Bianca is supporting the jacket and she's got the full ring attire that she had coming out there, the detail all in there. If you check out Bianca's Twitter or Instagram, I think she posted that she had to create this entire attire herself on the fly over the course of like being at different shows and flying over for Crown Jewel itself. So she put this outfit together last minute. I thought it came together really well. And kudos to Jacker here for putting this one together of Bianca. And you can see that I have here just a little bit of a camera shot of Bianca with her full gear, which she's gonna be wrestling in, where she's got the BEST on the front. Great job. Now, the next one is pretty simple and straightforward, but we're looking at Brock Lesnar. And this is coming from Azrael, number 28248. This one just got released. This is technically his crown jewel attire. It's a very, very common Brock Lesnar attire that he has worn in previous occasions. And he had his matchup against Bobby Lashley. And once again, another match that I was really interested in. I have enjoyed Brock's recent run with WWE, that he's a face, that he's comedic, he's got, he's having more fun. And him versus Lashley, we've seen this match before, but it was interesting to see how they were gonna pull this one off. The finish to it? Mm, not too sure. Let me know what you thought of Lashley Lesnar finish. I didn't love it, but it definitely does leave the door open for Lashley to maybe go heel or for them to have a rematch. I definitely would want to see these guys go at it again in a best of three because now they have both got one up on each other. And I think you could have a rubber match, maybe even at the Royal Rumble. The next one we got is gonna be the leader of the OC, AJ Styles. This is coming over from the other legit attires, number 37105. AJ's always got great gear and other legit attires always does great gear for so many different stars. So make sure you go and support him and hit that upvote button for all these creators. This one I really did like. He's got the Japan outfit that he's worn with his gear. Numerous occasions and I really really dug this and this match overall with Judgment Day a lot of fun I think that they can definitely go a couple more rounds it'll be interesting to see what they do when it comes to Survivor Series as we all know that we have war games coming out at Survivor Series so I can't wait for that and this AJ Styles attire really is great now we've talked about the previous match but we got a guy who got I really liked his attire and this is going to be Bobby Lashley and I really like this red and gold red yellow look that he had going on and just him and Brock, just two big beefy guys just smacking the crap out of each other. I really, really enjoyed this match. And this attire is done by Kamazo or Cam Nazo, whichever way you want to pronounce it, number 68730. Go check this one out too. Next up, we got Omas. Now we had Omas versus Braun Strowman in the big man match. 
and this build was kind of whatever. And then he even had like Braun shoving his face into Omas's chest at the at the media scrum thing. It was all kind of weird. If you guys have looked at the post-match stuff, there is actually Braun Strowman posting something on his Instagram to the effect of uh, him talking to Omas about how he had like a, a five star, 47 star match. Two big men going at it, didn't eat all the flippy flops like the other guys do. And Mustafa Ali has now inserted himself into that conversation in real life. And they're going back and forth. So it's, it's getting a little heated up there on the Twitter and on the Instagram. It's kind of fun. This Omas attire is coming from Acknowledge Me, number 49197. And I liked Omas's gear. For a guy who's usually just wearing like the tank top and having the all black look, I like that they gave him some quality gear to wear here in Saudi Arabia. Good look for him. I dug the hood. It's a good, cool look for him. I wonder what they're going to do with these two. This did feel like one of those big, big man WrestleMania matches. They had a crown jewel. I don't know if we're going to see this again. And frankly, I don't know what direction we go in with Braun and Amos. We'll have to see what else they can pull out. This one is arguably the highlight of the night or had the biggest highlight of the night. And it's Roman Reigns and Logan Paul. And Logan Paul's outfit here his attire is coming from MMG number 05321 and this one is just a little bit of an alter from his original in-game attire. The headband is a little bit different here, a little bit of modifications overall. He's not coming out with the Pokemon card or in this case the 2k card for my factions, but this attire looks great. MMG always does amazing work when it comes to the attires and this is no different. And his match with Roman was a lot of fun. I have some issues with how much shenanigans was going on, but I guess you gotta have that in a Logan Paul, Roman Reigns match. The thing I don't really like about this, and it could just be me, but I don't like that he's a he's going for his third match in WWE, it's against the champ, and they booked it so that Logan Paul looks strong against Roman. Whereas over the last two years, it really felt like a match like this with a guy who's having his third match really should have gotten destroyed by Roman. And I think you could have told a better story where Logan Paul was like just like sneaking out of moves and sneaking out of all these like spots where he was gonna get, he was gonna lose to Roman Reigns. But instead they really made Logan Paul look like a, a, a formidable foe for Roman Reigns. The table spot was amazing. It's all over social media. The fact that he did a frog splash through a table while recording it, pretty, pretty cool. But we did find out afterwards that Logan Paul has a full like tear MCL, ACL, like he's got a massive, massive leg injury. That's really unfortunate. You don't wanna see anybody get hurt at all, but he got hurt during this match. He even did a buckshot lariat. So I give the guy credit. He's coming along real, real quick. He's putting on entertaining matches. Now that he is injured and he's gonna be out for a prolonged period of time, what do you do with Logan Paul after? And when he does come back after injury, unfortunately he'll likely miss WrestleMania if this injury is confirmed. We'll have to see what's gonna happen next. The last one we have on the list here is going to be Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. He retained at Crown Jewel. Uh, this Roman Reigns is no different than the ones that we have seen previously. However, this is coming in with his entrance attire where he is going to be supporting like the Samoan dynasty, the Samoan lay that he's got going on over there. And this is coming from Colt Trigger number 77210. And it's always good to see Roman Reigns supporting this gear and I really, really like it. And I did, again, enjoy the match overall and I thought it was just a lot of fun. Once again, we'll have to see what's gonna happen up next. And I'm guessing Survivor Series is gonna have a lot of twists and turns for us and hopefully the bloodline is in there because I'm feeling pretty oozy. What do you guys enjoy out of all these attires? Which ones did stood out for you? Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed and hit that like button. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.